Hello friends, welcome to Finance MCQ. Friends, today we will discuss the vacancy released by Electronic Corporation of India Limited. So they have released the recruitment notification for trainee officer finance. So let's start the video. Friends, Electronic Corporation is a scheduled a public sector enterprise under Department of Atomic Energy. So here the vacancies are for trainee officer finance. The eligibility is as follow: upper age limit for unreserved category. Candidate is 27 years as on the last date of submission of online application that is 13th April 2024. So by this date age limit is 27 years. Now the qualification friends for officer trainee finance there are total 7 posts and the qualification asked is either a CA or a CMA and the pay scale will be in the range of 40,000 to 140,000 and friends here they have mentioned that final year students are eligible to apply provided if shortlisted for interview you have to produce your degree certificate or provisional mark sheet at the time of interview so you can apply provided at the time of interview you should clear your final exam then only you will be eligible to apply now remuneration and other benefits friends you will be in the pay scale of 40,000 to 1 lakh 40,000 and apart from that you will be paid DA, HRA and all the benefits of the company as per their rules friends here you need to execute a service bond to serve the company for minimum period of 4 years and amount payable in case of a breach of contract is rupees 4 lakh so 4 lakh rupees bond amount is to be signed to serve the company for 4 years and in case you leave the organization you have to pay the bond amount now reservation for the post so friends as i already mentioned that there are total seven posts for trainee officer finance out of which three are for unreserved category candidate and the rest are all for reserve category candidate then there is a age relaxation for reserve category candidate you can check them in detail if you are meeting the eligibility criteria here now very important method of selection Friends here your selection will be based of two stage selection process first there will be a written test followed by personal interview and the weightage for written test and personal interview will be in the ratio of 85 raised to 15 and 60% overall for selection of candidate. So here the weightage for written and personal interviews 85 raised to 15 but you have to score over 60% your total score should be above 60% then only you will be considered for selection and you will be called in the personal interview in the ratio of 1 raised to 4 that is for so one post four candidate will be called for personal interview now written test will be conducted in the following cities so these six cities written test will be held and question paper will be in the both hindi as well as in english and written test will be in multiple choice question and every wrong question will attract 0.25 negative marking so one fourth is a negative marking and in case you require any clarification you can contact them at their email address mentioned here for resolving any of your query uh, application fee Friends, candidate belonging to general OBC category candidate have to pay a non-refundable application fee of rupees 1000 and candidate belonging to SC, ST, PWD and regular employees are exempt from application fee. How to apply? You have to apply through online mode only by visiting website of the company. As I already mentioned, how to apply? You have to apply through online mode by visiting website of the company under career section and online application started from 23rd March till 13th April 2024 2 o'clock then how to make payment and all those things you can check them in detail now important dates as I already mentioned your online application is already started from 23rd March 2024 and last date of making online registration is 13th April 2024 and written test and all other details will be hosted on the website of the company so you have to regularly check the website for any update in this regard and any doubt you are having with regards to the application form or any query or clarification required you can contact them at the email address mentioned in the notification for resolving any of your doubt so friends if you are meeting the eligibility criteria then you should definitely give it a try you will get a good exposure working with a PSU company so thank you so much for watching this video till the end